Hi guys, I'm Brittany with Triad Health Center. I'm going to walk you through what your very first appointment looks like when you come to see me for emotional release therapy, including an example session with my volunteer here, Allie. Emotional release therapy can help with many conditions or areas in your life. If you have pain anywhere in your body, for example, or experience chronic headaches, shoulder or neck pain that's bothering you, or maybe you don't have pain, maybe you have some other discomfort, maybe you have a heaviness in your chest or a spasm in the muscle somewhere in your body, or maybe the issue you're having isn't physical at all. Maybe you're dealing with depression or anxiety. Maybe you suffer from panic attacks or maybe you have a phobia about something, or maybe you're having a hard time finding passion in life, a job that you really, really enjoy, or the right person to fall in love with. Emotional release therapy helps in all areas of your life by detecting and exposing underlying trapped emotions in your subconscious that are either causing the physical pain or symptoms or holding you back from happiness and abundance. As your practitioner, I'll meet with you for an in-depth intake assessment to get to know you and your needs and goals and use muscle testing to tap into your subconscious mind, which will tell us the honest truth as to which negative emotions or energies are trapped and where. And then I assist your body in releasing those negative emotions for good using therapeutic magnets so your body can return to a state of balance. It's a relatively simple process that delivers powerful results. So when you come in for your very first appointment, there will be some intake paperwork I'll ask you to fill out in advance. The first 45 minutes of your appointment will be just a one-on-one -on -one consultation between you and me, going through your history, symptoms, what you need my help with, and what your health and life goals are. This is a time for me to really get to know you and start our relationship. I'll be looking for any clues as to the underlying causes of your symptoms. Then the second half of your appointment is when you will receive your very first emotion code session. And I'll demonstrate what that looks like for you now. This is Allie, she's one of my clients. Thank you so much for sitting in today to demonstrate, Allie. I'm happy to help. For your appointment, we'll be seated together at the table. I'll have a couple tools there to help me. This chart helps me to see all 60 different possible negative emotions that can possibly be hindering you. I'll just set this to the side for now. Um, I'll also have my therapeutic magnet, if you can see that, which helps to magnify the intention of releasing any of these trapped emotions that we'll be working on. So now I'll demonstrate how to bring you through a session with muscle testing on Allie. First, I'll conduct just a baseline test to make sure your subconscious is open to being tested. Allie, can you hold out your arm? Now, Allie, I want you to make a true statement. Can you say, my name is Allison? And what I'm going to do is just press down on her wrist. And if she's telling the truth, her arm will be strong. And if she's telling a lie, her arm will be weak. Okay, so I'm gonna get you to say, my name is Allie. My name is Allie. Okay. So she's testing very strong. So we know her name is Allie. Okay, so now I'm gonna get you to tell a lie and I'm gonna get you to say, my name is Bob. My name is Bob. All right, I'm gonna press down and she's very weak. So as you can see, Allie's arm was very strong when she stated her name was Allison and her arm went weak when she stated her name was Bob. So now we're able to communicate with her subconscious and now we can move forward with asking true and false statements to find answers for her. Now, since Allie and I have already met and discussed her major health goals, I know she wants to work on stress, which is, is huge for many of us. So now we're gonna ask her subconscious mind if she has a trapped emotion causing stress. If it's true, her arm will test strong. If it's false, her arm will test weak. Okay, so do you have a trapped emotion that is causing you to feel stressed? And she absolutely does. She's testing very strong. So now let's figure out which column and row it's in. Is this trapped emotion in column A? Is this trapped emotion in column B? 
So she's testing very strong for column B, which we know we're on the right track with. Now let's find which row it's in. So let's ask, is this trapped emotion in even numbered rows? It is. Is it in odd numbered rows? It's not. So let's go to the even numbered rows now, two, four, and six. Is this trapped emotion in row two? Nope. Is, it tra is this trapped emotion in row four? Nope. Is this trapped emotion in row six? And it is in row six because she's testing very strong. Now there are several emotions that we need to, f to narrow it down to now. Is this trapped emotion pride? Nope. Is it shame? Mm -mm. Is it shock? Is it unworthy? It's, she's very strong for unworthy. Um, and the last one, is this trapped emotion worthless? It's not. So now we know which trapped emotion it is, the trapped emotion of unworthy. Let's ask if we need to know anything else about this trapped emotion of unworthy, just in case. Do we need to know anything else about this trapped emotion of unworthy? And we don't. So now we can move forward and releasing this trapped emotion from her. So let's, I'm gonna use my magnet here. Just gonna stand behind her and run this magnet down her back three times. Okay, so now let's ask, did we release this trapped emotion of unworthy? And we sure did. Now let's ask, did these emotions need to clear first before we release any more today? And it does not. So we could continue um, releasing trapped emotions over the next 30 minutes or so. So this is just a sample of what the first session looks like. This will go on for around 30 minutes for a full session targeting several different emotions that we uncover. Following your visit, I'll email you a session report which summarizes what we worked on during your appointment and I'll outline recommendations moving forward for you to continue healing. I recommend staying well hydrated before and after your session to help improve the healing speed. Most clients can feel some type of release during the session or shortly after, and you may continue to feel changes for up to four or five days following. So I just brought you through your first emotional release appointment. Remember, all you need is a positive attitude, love, and gratitude. Hope to see you guys soon.